I'm pulling the Cal Pi transmission apart on the 84 FLH. So this is the shift fork shaft. There's an O-ring on that. And in this second groove, there was a snap ring. That's right there. And it just comes out the main shaft side of the case. Nothing special about it. And then there's the shift forks. You have the one shift fork looks like this this is for third and fourth gear and it goes in the nuts face in on both of them this is the first and second gear shift fork and the nuts face in on it and when I put them like this the first and second shift fork is bigger now, next we come over to the side of the trans. I took this plate out. These four Allen set screws hold the plate. I come over here and the shaft for the transmission pushes out. This shaft has a groove in it on the bottom side. That plate holds that groove is what holds this shaft in. And I pull it out like that. There's an O-ring again on that shaft and certainly has some wear right there. Hopefully we can get that shaft. Then the gear should come out, one would hope. I'll have to look into how that comes out, but when it does, the smallest gear goes on the output side. That's fourth, third, second, and first. And they just come right out of there and these dogs are here. There's still another shaft in there. I'm not exactly sure how that comes out, but I will get it, I'm sure. Might have to take the shaft out of this one first. As you can see, there is some, some nasty stuff down in the bottom. I've seen a lot worse, but that's not great either. This gear did lift out. I just needed two hands. It has this gear up against the case. You see that looks like it was spinning a little and this gear this side of it was up against here and that's on the kicker side then you can see there's a bearing in here there's a bearing in here on the other side and there's a washer there too right there this washer looks uh, looks to be okay you can see the bearing in there bearing both those bearings will need to be replaced, no doubt. This gear comes off, and there's a bushing, and there's a washer. Then you have the dog that's on the shaft, and then you have another gear. And then, then I imagine these gears all come off, or these might be a part of the shaft. I'm not really sure. There's that gear down. There's this washer. That's for first. Here's the dog. The side with the lines goes towards first or towards the kicker side. Here is second. So this is third gear that comes, or uh, second gear that comes off here. The way it came off is this spiral snap ring. Then there's a a washer sorry about that that goes and it looks like the side with some marks goes down towards the gear and in the center right here is the bushing you can see I'm not going to take it all the way out but it does come out and then the the dogs obviously face the slider and then for the last of the trans there's a bear, um, there's a washer there and all this goes towards the output shaft side to get this shaft off you have to take the lock off of this nut and then hit it with an impact gun and then this pulls out the smallest over here the biggest over here and your last gear I already took that nut off but that is over here. 
So there's a bearing on each side of this shaft, a regular old bearing bearing, which will need to be, uh, both of those will need to be replaced. The, um, I wanted to point out that the dogs on that gear face, the tapered part faces to the rear on those. So to make sure to get it on the right way. I can see now that the fourth gear has some, uh, has a bad gear. And also notice that the shaft is kind of not looking as good as it could right there. So I had to put the trans back together to get this nut loose. And then this nut lock comes off next. And then out comes out comes this gear set. You can pull the shaft and it really takes two hands to get down in there. Let's see if I can get it with one. There it is. That set comes out as one complete unit. And then it's this set. And I believe for this set you gotta probably hit it with a mallet or do a little pressing on it. I got the main shaft out. Um, the way you get it out is you, you take it out of the case this way towards the kicker. The, um, the whole shaft comes out. The dogs are tapered to the rear of the trans. This is your main drive gear. It's a shame it's in really good condition, except for those teeth are beat up, which means that needs to be replaced. And the way to get it out is there's a snap ring set on third gear. Now, when you take this dog off, fourth gear, it says high. So it points to high gear. And then you had this snap ring that you had to get off and the washer that came off next and then the third gear comes off and then you have to get this bearing off and this gear will come off uh, first and second and I believe it's just pressing out of the shaft out of it no big deal and that gets it out of the case and the other side of the case has that needle bearing right there which will need to be replaced and then it has a seal I believe and it has this bearing uh, outer race here and then there's a seal in the end of uh, fourth gear right here where the shaft comes through so so far from what I could see is it's going to need fourth gear and on this side, that cluster gear is also bad, which is fourth gear on the counter shaft. And to me, it looks like it's going to need two shafts there. And then this shaft right there. You see, it's bad pitting. The hardness is starting to come off the shaft. So it's going to need a main shaft, a counter shaft, fourth gear on the main shaft which is drive and then third and fourth on the counter it's going to need this bearing that needle bearing on main drive it's going to need the bearing on this shaft and then inside of here there's a bearing a bearing and two gaskets so that's about it and what did I say so that's basically two seals, one, two, three, four bearings, the main shaft, the counter shaft, and both fourths gears, and that'll do it.